the normal bacteria. These are commensal flora, normal flora in the gut, but we can uh -huh. kind of gain a little bit of insight on what's happening in the gut based on these imbalances. I mean, out of the gates, we have, you know, just out of the gates, we have lactobacillus, which is a beneficial flora that's low. So we're starting to see low levels of beneficial bacteria. Uh, anything else you want to say kind of from this section down? Yeah. And again, we can tie this with other sections too, like lactobacillus mm -hmm. actually lives in the stomach and it's very antagonistic towards H. pylori. So if I'm looking at this and going, well, we have a nasty H. pylori infection, we have low lactobacillus, I'm going get, to get a lactobacillus probiotic in here to try to help not only get more lactobacillus in the system because it's clearly lacking, but also it's going to help push out some of that H. pylori from the stomach. Now, in general, I look at, you know, do we have highs? Do we have lows? Because even though these are good guys, too much of a good thing is still a bad thing. So I still don't want to see highs or lows. Now, a lot of times when things are low, it's often something killed them. So I look for a history. Did you take antibiotics recently? Or mm -hmm. things like artificial sweeteners, like, you know, Splenda, sucralose. It's a chlorinated sugar. Chlorine kills bugs, including the good bugs. So we need to be looking at, again, the diet. Are you doing something that's killing these? Do you eat GMO foods, food sprayed with glyphosate? Glyphosate is patented as an antibiotic. Again, it's going to kill your good bugs. So are you doing something that's killing them or are you starving them? You got to feed your bugs and they like fiber. So if you're restricting fiber in your diet, if you're not eating lots of whole fruits and vegetables and beans and nuts and seeds and, you know, maybe some gluten-free grains, I mean, all of these things have the fibers that these guys love. 100%. And so a lot of fibers, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. If someone were to go carnivore, would you see a lot of these commensal flora drop typically? We do, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, we have seen some reports for people who are doing carnivore and especially if there's low stomach acid, especially if there's H. pylori, you'll see a lot of the ones, the opportunistic ones on the following page go really sky high and you'll see lots of low levels here because these guys like their fiber. Now, we don't test some of the bile loving bugs here, but you know, if you were testing those, we would expect to see some of the, the protein protein degrading, you know, bile loving ones, those are the ones that are going to go up. But they're also ones that produce things like hydrogen sulfide, which can be very pro inflammatory in excess. So while it may relieve some symptoms, I'd rather look at why can't you digest your fruits and vegetables and carbs and that kind of stuff. You know, there's probably an infection like H. pylori or some dysbiosis. Instead of restricting your diet so severely and starving your good bugs, let's get rid of these bigger issues, get you digesting better so you can have those foods again. Very good.